Hello, 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 and I am your host, The Banana. And today, we are playing Max Payne 3. Once, well, once again, we are playing Max Payne 3. And last time, we had to stop early because, you know, this game makes you freaking download three other downloads to the entire uh, campaign because, you know, that's obviously smart. Thank you, Rockstar, for that. Thank you. Alright. Hey, look at that, Max. What? Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. Man. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building <clears throat> downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my man. brother. What are you talking what? about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I work <laughs> yeah, my ass off for your yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, I saved your life twice, or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being <laughs> torn apart. You're tearing us apart, Max. That is like the fucking brightest shirt ever. Goddamn stealth motherfuckers. We call it a fucking Hawaiian shirt. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É <laughs> isso. At least I had found myself a tour guide. I do find the troll my way I see it, there are two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Come on, I've got nice to see the girls. Oh, papai, eu vim devolver o seu sorriso. 
I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> Continua dando caralho! Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá! O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando! Eu te chamei aqui, porra! Easy, pal, easy! Ah, então, você é americano de merda! Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão pra eu não te matar, seu americano burro! Desculpa, amigo, por favor! Passa! Tudo que você tem, viado! Pega o dinheiro dele! Pega o dinheiro dele! Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui! Dá logo! Dá logo! Filho da puta! Valeu, mano! Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança! Agora não, fora daqui! All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Remember that scene in Max Payne 3 where you get to walk slowly through the town, through New York City? Yeah, me neither. It's seven minutes. I haven't done anything. If there was one thing I'd learned since I've been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Que isso, a coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Você escolhe um dos três. Desculpa, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapá. Uh, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't gonna help me. But who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was gonna find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. <sighs> Can we get some like real gameplay? <laughs> Something I know, you know, story and crap, but there's a limit to it. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. So you're gonna get drunk. You can get drunk while you're lost. That makes sense. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. <coughs> hey, it's this guy again. I know you. At the disco with Wait, the did, gun. Did I show you that scene? Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dedling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? here? Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Well, story. I'm uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we we came to help the cause. See, after I retired, my wife she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. Heck, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Ain't granted, steel ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and Fairly. different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman, about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. Okay. Hey, I'll say a prayer for you.
Oh, look at that back up. So nice. Another life lesson I didn't want. What? What? I don't... Man, I don't know. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I am walking slow down slowly. This classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone, vai lá no fundo, ó. segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're going to shoot me, you make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. <laughs> you were was set up. I'm like, what, yeah, Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group. Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from uh, you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay. It's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank oh, how'd you know? I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. Well, I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. And if you, if you kill a cop, you're in the jungle now. Enough, you get so it appears. If you survive the next hour, yeah, free cop card. let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck! I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. 
what was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Finally. And you know what time it is? It's time for this video in because it's 15 minutes and that's how long these videos are. Sorry guys, no gameplay today. Because this goddamn <laughs> Thank you, Rockstar, for this whole, you know, cutscene shit. But um, alright, this has been Let's Play Max Payne, and I will see you guys next time.